Welcome to the Maria Liberati Show, where food meets art, travel, and life. So what does food mean to you? And we're here today. Uh, my special guest is really, he has a really interesting topic, and it's a very unique, I think, topic or very unique book. And um, I have Areza Gam. Uh, he's an author, but he's an expert on immigration specifically to Germany. And he wrote this interesting book, has an interesting blog on a lot of a lot of hidden tips and kind of secrets that people don't know but it's such a timely topic so i'm going to let him do most of the speaking today all right thank you so much for being here and what's the name of the book just so people know thank you very much maria i uh it's my pleasure to be here the name of the book is berlin's immigration secrets there you go so I guess we'll just start from the beginning. What um what gave you the idea or the you know to to do this book on Berlin's immigration secrets? Well, you know, Maria, I uh, I would like to explain because it's a, it's quite a, a long story. Yes, and that's why I'm, I would like to take you back into the eighties. Yes, nineteen uh, eighties. I I was born in in, in Israel in the Middle East. Uh huh. And um, back then, you know, uh, I always had this this dream about about living abroad from a very young age. Mm -hmm. I remember that I was always curious. Uh -huh. uh, I actually grew up on uh, on American movies, so you know, I I, I was exposed to uh, a lot of American culture. Uh -huh. And I actually, you know, when I grew up. When you say, when I say right now, Maria, immigration, what the first thing that comes up in, in your mind right now? Immigration. Um, what do you mean? The first idea would be going The first home. idea, the first word, what, what is it? Immigration. Well, that would be going from one country to another. Is that what you mean? Is that what you're fishing Yes, but for? a specific destination. Everybody thinks well, about the US. the US. Everybody thinks exactly. about the US. Exactly. I know my even, grandparents. Even right now. Yes. Even right now, if you go to Google and you type immigration, you see ads about green uh, green card, about yes, US visa, yes. and so on. Yeah. So back then, you know, the so-called dream was was the US. It was yes. like the land of opportunity, land of yes. dreams. So the more, you know, it was uh, we we actually saw a lot of Hollywood movies. Yes. And nobody even thought about other destinations back then. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, you you guys had like chain migration in the sixties, seventies, eighties. It was fully open. Yes. Now things have changed, but back then it was the U.S. So uh -huh. I didn't actually knew what mm -hmm. what is going to be my destination, but I, right. I I I was thinking about the U.S. because that was all of the information I had at that time. I see. So I you know I grew up and you know I was very very curious. Now you gotta you gotta understand that uh, it's not only that I had this this dream. I uh -huh. grew up in a very, very political uh, area. I had, uh -huh. I, I, I was exposed to political tension, uh -huh. to, uh, you know, a lot of, uh, a lot of heat, you know, a lot of all the, uh, the Middle Eastern heat, uh, uh, yes. the, uh, the conflict, and it's, I, I didn't, I, it's not the life that I wanted for myself, you know. Uh -huh. uh, when, when I thought about my future, uh -huh. I knew that that I'm, I'm definitely. You know, I I I personally think that the politics should uh, should have solved this issue a long time ago. People should have fixed that issue, and um, and it's not the ideal place for me. You know, uh -huh. I didn't choose to live in a political area, uh -huh. and I, I disagree with with a lot of stuff. And and it, it was kind of like the combination of of me having this dream and uh -huh. me uh, actually don't uh, feel, uh, the fact that I, I didn't uh, feel belong to my native country in, in that oh, sense. Okay. So that, I guess that was how you decided then to immigrate. And it sounds like most of the information, which I know online to immigrate is for immigrating to America. So how yes. did you start finding the idea of going to Germany? Let's go. So I'll explain, I'll explain. Yes. Because as I mentioned, it's a long process. So as I yes. grew up, I didn't, I, I didn't, think about, you know, just back up and leave. Right. It was kind of like a thing that I always had in me. Uh -huh. And then when I grew up, I, I had a desire to travel. Uh -huh. So I traveled into so many destinations out there. 
Mm -hmm. And then uh, the more I traveled, the more I was, uh, you know, open up to the world, the more, the more I experienced stuff. And then I reached a certain point and took responsibility, basically. You know, I, I sat down with myself, uh, Maria, and asked myself, okay, where do you see your future in, in the next 10 years? Mm -hmm. Do you still see yourself with your current environment? Uh, what, what is that you want to do? And then mm -hmm. this, this thing, those questions actually led me to immigrate. Uh -huh. and, and this is, this is actually a critical step that I do recommend uh, for anybody uh, mm -hmm. who would like, who, who's in a, in, a, in a crossroad or, or thinking about doing something, uh -huh. sit down with yourself and ask yourself, plan your future, shape your life. It's, uh -huh. it's all about you, basically. Mm -hmm. So I then, you know, when I decided that I wanted to immigrate, I started to look uh, for, for a destination. You know, the world mm -hmm. is huge, as, as you may know. Yes. And we have so many destinations out there. It, it, it's endless, basically. Yes. And the main reason that led me to, to immigrate uh, to Germany, actually, I had, I had four main reasons. So mm -hmm. the number one reason was the low cost of living and the apartment rent. I'm sure uh -huh. you know that that uh, right now in the U.S., uh, especially in cities like New York, uh, Los Angeles, the prices are very, very high mm -hmm. regarding uh, a cost of living and, and, and renting apartments. Yes. And, uh, you know, back then, you know, now actually the price in Berlin are going up, but, but it's still considered to be reasonable if you compare it to other cities. Oh, okay. And uh, actually, I really like the fact that it's not fully industrial like other cities. Uh, uh -huh. you, there are a lot of green areas and, and you feel uh, different. You know, it's, uh -huh. it's a different, more, more easygoing atmosphere. Uh -huh. So that was my number one reason uh, to immigrate. The second one was the fact that, you know, Germany is the, has the strongest economy in Europe. Oh, okay. So uh, strongest economy means that you have employment stability, you have lots of right. options regarding jobs and regarding uh -huh. businesses. So uh -huh. uh, I think that uh, also you want to live in a, in a country that takes care of you. And mm -hmm. uh, actually, as, as, a, as a resident or a citizen, you have lots of benefits from, from, from the government, which is uh, good. Uh -huh. And uh, also, as I mentioned, you know, it, it combines a social economic model with a capitalistic one. Mm -hmm. And I think it's a good thing because, uh, you know, living in a 100% capitalistic country, uh -huh. uh, it's not, it, there, there, eventually there, there will be gap between poor people and, and rich people. And I didn't want that. You know, I want uh -huh. more, uh, more uh, equality, if, if I can uh, call it like this. You know, uh, you in the U.S., you tend to call it work-life balance. Uh -huh. That's the term that you use. Uh -huh. uh, if, you, if you're looking at countries like uh, uh, Germany, Finland, Norway, Denmark, uh -huh. those countries. And this was very, very appealing for me because I wanted to get out of the race, you know, the, 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 the whole of the... Uh, I, I didn't want to work uh, a lot of hours and, and you know, kill myself. Uh -huh. So I, I wanted also to, to, to have, you know... To have a decent life, you know, if you can, if you can call it, uh, uh, so like this. I guess so, what I so, what I want to do is, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but I want to make sure we tell. So tell us. So you decided to go to Germany. So tell us. I guess the first step you said, because I want people to kind of get an idea, get some ideas and tips from the short interview. So, so the first thing is sit down with yourself and you know, kind of decide right on where you want to go. But are there, I know you had told me there were some secrets or tips or things like that. So are they for just the secrets and the things that you said, the information I know that you said people, it's not easy to find. So people are only going to really find it in your book that has a lot of unique things. Any, can you give us some like quick tips or quick ideas that might be really helpful to people if somebody um, out there, my podcast is heard all around the world. So I have a feeling there are people in lots of other places, maybe not in the U.S., but lots of other places that may want to immigrate to Germany. So give us some tips and, th and, and ideas. Um, absolutely. And, and, and absolutely. So this is, this is where we are coming to the, uh, the third reason, right? which is actually going to be a big uh, hint for everyone. 
Uh -huh. Now, the third uh, reason, uh, actually, I've been doing my research, my research, I found out that Germany has uh, a list of privileged countries. Uh -huh. Now, what do I mean by privileged countries? Uh -huh. Now, as you may know, Maria, if you live in Europe um, uh -huh. under the Schengen area, uh -huh. you can work all over, right? So a person from Finland who possesses uh -huh. a Finnish passport can come to Germany and work freely with no, right. no visa. Right. Exactly. And vice versa. Right. So those countries are fully open. So uh -huh. people tend to, to work, to move around. But mm -hmm. if you come out of the European Union, let's say that you do, you do not have a European passport, mm -hmm. what should you do? So in this case, I actually found out that Germany has a, a privileged countries list. So, uh, though, and, and those are the, the countries basically. Um, mm -hmm. So United States, Canada, Israel, Australia, New Zealand, New Zealand, United Kingdom now because of the Brexit. Right. Japan and South Korea. Now, what's so special about those countries? Mm -hmm. The thing is, if you are a citizen of those countries, you can come to Germany, mm -hmm. just go there, uh -huh. and then once you find a job, you can do the bureaucratic procedure from within. Uh -huh. So you can enter the country freely. So mm -hmm. you don't have to possess a visa mm -hmm. uh, prior to your arrival. I so can just... Do what I did, basically take a suitcase, go, and then once you set up a job, you set up your 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 status and continue from there. Uh -huh. So for me, it was very appealing because I didn't want to do any bureaucratic procedure be prior to my arrival. Right, right, exactly, exactly. So this is a big hint for uh -huh. everyone. Actually, I, I I meet a lot of Americans and Canadians, and uh, sometimes they choose not the exact path for them. So they come to study because they think that this right. is the only option how they can stay, uh -huh. but they don't have to. If they mm -hmm. already gained experience and they, they want to, to, to work immediately, they can uh -huh. just come and apply for jobs. Okay. So they don't have to spend like two or three years in, in the university, uh -huh. which hmm. can shorten their, their process. Ex exactly. Exactly. Uh, so... The, uh, the other reason uh, why I immigrated was, uh, believe it or not, my desire to learn a new language. Uh -huh. So, and this is why I didn't choose uh, an English speaking country uh -huh. because I wanted to experience new culture, new mm -hmm. language. Uh, I want to learn a new language and actually uh, I enjoy the process really uh -huh. uh, very well. And uh, yeah, I mean, I've done good fun. And I like it. Uh, uh -huh. I like it a lot. And uh, and this was my fourth reason. Uh -huh. Now I can focus on more hits, on more hints. If, yeah, if you, like. you can tell us some quick um, tips and things. But I was going to say, I think if anything, I love the idea of because um, that that is I I before the pandemic and all, I was always traveling. Um, and, um, I know the one thing I loved about traveling is experiencing, of course, I, I did study to be a linguist, so I love languages, but I love the experiencing of different cultures and different languages. So I think that's definitely a really interesting idea, you know, to, to get to experience and learn a different language, a different culture, and make sure that, you immerse yourself in the culture of whatever country, you know, you choose to immigrate to, to get the full experience. But yes, give us some, um, we, we just have a couple of minutes left. So just give us, if you have any quick tips or things like that um, for somebody that is listening that might want to immigrate to say Germany. So the biggest tips right now is, uh, as I mentioned before, sit down with yourself, see that this is, really something that you want to do because this is a life-changing experience you right know, immigration is not like a temporary uh, movement or or a relocation this is something that you know that will change your life your life forever so take right. it seriously right. understand that the journey is not going to be easy uh -huh. and also uh come with savings uh mm -hmm. prepare yourself financially because mm -hmm. you don't know how long it's going to take you to find a source of income once you're there yeah. yes um you know things tend to change really, really fast. So you may have some unexpected uh, expenses. You don't know, so come with savings. Uh -huh. And uh, the third uh, the third reason, the, the th another hint that I, I would like to, uh, to state is the fact that understand that this is a long process. 
understand mm -hmm. that you gotta prepare yourself mentally as well. Mm -hmm. So understand that this is a, a process that if you do it, uh, if you fully focus in that process, you will succeed. If you take it step by step, you will succeed. Mm -hmm. Don't try to accelerate it. Just mm -hmm. try to immerse yourself and and mm -hmm. you know just live live it. Just you know understand that it's 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 there it's with you and just take it one step at a time this is this is my uh, another tip that i would like to uh to give to the audience yes and the most difficult part will be to step out of your comfort zone especially uh -huh. if you if you're married if you already have kids mm -hmm. i i find that uh, people with families tend to live their routine life they're more attached to their native countries mm -hmm. and that's why it's going to be even harder for them right now if you have a family sit uh -huh. down with your family and make sure that this is a decision that you uh you make with them together mm -hmm. uh speak with your wife speak with your kids decide together uh -huh. because the last thing that, that you want to do is is to have arguments in, in the future so you want yeah. to uh to share with them uh, uh -huh. your your desire and and you want to see what they think about it exactly exactly now, now for me because I've done it on my own, I didn't have to consult with anyone. Exactly. And, you know, because I'm a, I'm a lonely wolf, I, uh -huh. I like to, uh, to do things on my own. I actually done things pretty fast, so I had no right. interruptions. But it really depends on your character. You know, some people uh, like to do it together. Some people like myself uh, like to do it alone. And, and right. you, can, you can do it. Yes. So I think it's really sounds like almost anything else. If it's something you really want to do, be patient. It's hard work, but it could be worth it, you know, when it's fine, when it's finalized, but you need to be patient and uh, spend some time working on it. It's, it's not something that comes easy. It, you know, there's some, sounds like there's some work to it, just like anything else. So Eras, um, we're kind of out of time, but tell us, so tell everyone where they can find this really interesting book and your website also. Of course. So once again, the book is called Berlin's Immigration Secrets, available on Amazon. You can purchase both the Kindle, the Kindle version or the paperback uh, version. Uh, my website is uh, immigrationsecrets.net. Uh-huh. Uh, in case you uh, you like to immigrate or you have interest in, in immigration, feel free to reach me out. To reach out, I'm, I'm available on LinkedIn as well. Ever is a You uh -huh. can ask me anything. I will give you free consultations. You don't have to pay anything uh, to lawyers or anything like that. Save yourself uh -huh. uh, this uh, time and money. And uh, I the the most important thing for me, Maria, is to uh -huh. help others. Uh -huh. Because I know that somebody, uh, someone is listening right now. Uh -huh. Maybe he, he's a young man or she's a young woman and they have this dream and uh -huh. they want to immigrate. You know, uh -huh. it's not an easy, an easy thing to do. You know, people right. tend to dream about pa uh, pastor, uh, you know, uh, about greener uh, um, pastures. Greener pastures. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, but. The hardest part is, is to make the first step. And yes. I think that if you really, really had a desire to do it, mm -hmm. you can achieve it. And mm -hmm. and if you do have a dream, then this podcast is for you right now. Mm -hmm. Those those this this is for the 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 twenty percent who will leave their native countries to uh -huh. live elsewhere. This, this yes. is for them. Yes, yes, definitely. Well, I think, you know, as I said, I just find it very interesting. Um, it's a really interesting topic, especially today. Um, and um, great. So we can find your book, your website, and also people can reach you on LinkedIn, as you said, if they have any qu other further questions or anything or, or might need a little bit of assistance also. So um, thanks so much, Eriz Agam, for being here. And who knows, maybe we'll have you back in the future also for any, any follow-ups or anything. Thanks again. It was my pleasure, Maria. Thank, Thank you. you.